Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check the fresh release from CMK and it is made in 148 scale, it is quite interesting upgrade set in my opinion because it should be handy with the recent release from Tamiya as you can see it's F5A Recon Lightning conversion set so basically you can use this set, it's a resin set obviously uh, in order to upgrade a recent Lightning in 148 scale from Japanese manufacturer and get a Recon version in 148 scale and we have a commercial sample here as you can see that's the final uh, let's say type of this set so you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and we are going to open it together and check what is actually included inside so first of all packaging is typical you can notice the small 3d image on the box art and kit number is 43.99 why I'm mentioning it because there will be also another conversion set we will check it a bit later this time we are checking this particular type and you can notice that there are several marking options I guess there will be some decals maybe because it's written decal options and there are also some cockpit parts which will be used for the reconversion this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside so we have assembly manual, we have some resin parts which are packed into separate plastic bags then we have decal sheet and also some mask maybe so we will have to check everything one by one just give me a second I would like to start with the biggest parts they come in a ziplock bag so I just need to open it and oops and remove it carefully Ugh. Just give me a sec. Okay, so first of all we have this one piece nose cone. Here it is. It comes as a single piece part which is really cool because you won't have any seams in such visible area. Now camera is focused and you can see that it looks really nice and it's just a matter of careful separation and also installation on the model because here we have another section which will have to be combined with what you saw just a few seconds ago here we have let's say the main section which actually converts aircraft to the recon type so maybe camera will be kind enough to focus on this and you will see what we have here just give me a second maybe I will yeah now you should be able to see so we have a one piece part nice external detail and of course all this parts will have to be cut out in order to insert the clear parts inside we don't have that much but it still looks quite impressive because this part will actually replace the original plastic so you will have to cut the original plastic be ready for this you can't avoid it so don't even think about it and it might be a bit tricky for beginners but I know that professionals love such challenges so I think it will be quite an interesting thing to do next we go on with special resin part for the cockpit so here we have this control yoke and maybe camera again will focus on this thing yeah now you should be able to see it so it's a one piece part really tiny even though this is a 148 scale still it is quite small so be careful while handling it because it's really small and thin so it should be easy to break let's say Next we go on with another set of ports so here we have antenna and another control element I'm not sure why there are two of them given so if you are uh, let's say more into this topic write it in the comment section below I will be glad to know because I am saying it openly that I do not have that much knowledge about recon version above this aircraft but as you can see Casting quality looks really nice and as for the clear parts we have them out of clear resin so they look really cool here you can see them let's focus the camera maybe now it will focus yeah now you should be able to see so here we have these clear parts they will have to be inserted into the main section you remember there were special cutouts here you can see for example one which have has to be cleaned and then you will insert these clear areas inside and next we have decals and masks as far as I can guess so just give me a second I'll open this stuff and we will check everything closer 
so first of all yeah these are masks so they're pre-cut and they will be handy for the nuclear areas on the aircraft which is really cool because basically you get everything you need out of the box you won't have to think how to cover this clear areas in the nose section and next we go on with decals so here we have two marking options there is no mention where they were printed and obviously you will have to use some stencils from your kit because as you can see there are no stencils but still printing quality looks completely fine I don't see any major issues so it's just a matter of careful application maybe this blue is a bit pale but who knows maybe it should be like this maybe they were trying to replicate some weathering who knows and next we have the assembly manual so assembly manual is printed in color surprisingly and it's printed in form of typical brochure so just give me a second to put all this stuff aside here it is let's zoom out a bit now you should be able to see so what do we have here first of all we have parts map here and then we go on with some upgrades for the cockpit and what I can see from this step on follow the Tamiya kit instructions here you can see that you first modify the cockpit and then you follow the original instructions and then next starts the most funny thing because here you can see that you will have to install actually assemble these two nose parts together then you install these clear sections into the uh, cutouts then you have to paint the embedded camera lenses with gloss black it's written here inside and next we go on with just give me a second to read it because I'm reading it upside down as far as you can see you have to cut the yeah it's written here that you have to cut away some part of the original plastic in order to install this new resin part because otherwise it won't fit obviously and here you can see by the way installation of this antenna vertical one and next we go on that it's written sand thin on inside so that the ah so so the fitment will be okay with this part with original plastic part so be careful it's better to do some dry fitting in order to get a really nice uh, fit between these two and next we go on with marking guide which is also printed in color but that's really cool and we have this aircraft from Belgium 1944 as you can see it has this shark mouth quite unusual I would say marking for this aircraft so it would be cool to replicate it in 148 scale but we have one more here we have aircraft from where so I guess from France 1944 it's written here as Sardinia so maybe from Sardinia but as you can see it has this nice you know, green color so it's a leaf drop obviously and again it's not that often seen on lightnings because everybody loves these silver finishes but here we have something different from usual topic so this kit should be already available and you can get it on official CMK website and it might be a good opportunity to build something different from original lightning kit from Tamiya because everybody built it and already has it in their collection and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such set here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye